the month of mercy. Trust in Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent 124,000 prophets one by one to guide us. All the prophets were trustworthy. They always told the truth. That means we have to believe everything that they said and accept them. Anyone who did not or does not believe them, they have to face big problems in this world and after their death. In the Quran in many places, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave many examples of what happened to the people who did not believe in the prophets. Basically, every single prophet who refused by some bad people and because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent big punishments to those bad people. For an example, we can see this in Prophet Noah's story. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, to guide his people. Noah was an excellent speaker and a very patient man. Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, spoke to his people about Allah's greatness. He warned them not to worship anyone but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and described the terrible punishment that Allah would give if they continued in their evil way. Noah's people were divided into two groups after his warning. His words touched the hearts of the weak and poor, but the rich and strong became his enemy. They rejected his warning and did not believe that he was the prophet of Allah. They thought that he was just a human being like themselves. When they found that his call attracted the poor, the helpless, and the common laborers, the leaders of those rich people tried to bargain. Listen, Noah. Be with us. We are rich and powerful. Don't stay with the poor and helpless people with your faith. However, he was gentle in his response. He refused them with his noble knowledge and the logic of intellect. The rulers were tired of Noah's arguments. Oh Noah, if you are truthful, bring your punishment from Allah, the one that you are telling us about. Then, Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, replied to them, Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bring the punishment. When he wants to punish you, you can't escape from it. Ah, obviously you are wrong. You are lying to us. Then, Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, replied to them with his gentle words. Oh, my people, I am not wrong. I am the messenger of Allah. I am giving you good advice. I know something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Something that you do not know. You should only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will forgive your sins. But most people of Noah, peace be upon him, was very bad. <laughs> He continued to advise his people to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hours after hours, days after days, years after years, he called them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Day and night, in secret and in the open. But they put fingers in their ears and ran away from him. Noah, peace be upon him, continued to call his people to believe in Allah for 950 years. Many generations were passing by, but the number of his believers were not increasing. Only a few of the 
because disbelievers used to teach their children not to believe in Noah. Their children taught the next generation the same thing. Noah, peace be upon him, was sad for his people. At one point, when he saw no one would believe in him, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to destroy all of the non-believers. Allah accepted Noah's prayer. Then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed the bad people with the water. They thought that they could climb to a high mountain and that it would save them from the water. But no one could escape from the punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even Prophet Noah's wife and son could not escape from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment because they did not believe in the Prophet. Prophets are human leaders. They can order us or show us the best way to bring happiness in our life. One example that we can find is from Prophet Musa and Harun peace be upon them story. One time with their people, Prophet Musa and Harun peace be upon them started their journey north for their promised land, Palestine. On the journey, Prophet Musa peace be upon him tried to teach them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law which they got at Mount Sinai. They were very lazy to follow the law. They thought that the laws were very hard to follow. Finally, they rejected the law. We hear you, but we cannot obey you. One more time, they made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upset. He lifted one of the mountains over them to kill them all. They became very afraid. Immediately, everyone prostrated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked pardon. When they all promised to obey the laws, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them. After more than one year of journey from Egypt, they reached the area of Faran. In one place, Prophet Musa peace be upon him chose 12 leaders from 12 tribes of Bani Israel and sent them to Palestine to get information about that place. The 12 leaders started their journey to Palestine. They saw the people of Palestine were very strong and big. 10 of the leaders became scared, but 2 of the leaders were very brave. One of the brave leaders was Prophet Yusha peace be upon him. His English name was Joshua. When the people of Bani Israel heard the news about the strong Palestinians, they refused to go there and fight with them. Prophet Musa told them it was their gifted land by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It would be very easy for them to win. Two of the brave leaders also tried to convince them to attack the Palestinians. But the Bani Israel were cowards. They refused to fight with Palestine. They even told Prophet Musa peace be upon him. If the enemy does not leave the town, we will not go there. You and your Lord fight with them and we will be sitting right here. That made Prophet Musa very angry. He cursed his people for their disobedience. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them by not giving their promised land for 40 years, they could not find the way to Palestine. The people of Bani Israel saw many miracles from their prophet, but still they did not trust their prophet Musa, peace be upon him. If they could have trusted their prophet completely, their life could be easier and beautiful. This is a lesson for us. We have to follow our Prophet Muhammad wasallam's sunnah very strongly. Only then will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill our life with peace and happiness. As you know, we are a non-profit organization and all of our work is free for everyone. All of our friends 
watched a total of 4 million hours of Acre Cartoon videos. That's over 500 years of free learning. To make good quality videos, we need a team of professional researchers, scriptwriters, voiceovers, editors, and most importantly, our big animation team. So, every Ramadan, we do a fundraising to cover our expenses. But, unfortunately, this year, we are very behind. We can't do this by ourselves. So, as a friend, we are asking you to please support us reach our goal by giving a generous donation as sadaka or zakat. If we cannot reach our goal, we cannot continue our running projects like Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's complete life story or other kinds of videos. We only have a few more days for the Sadaka Zaria Ramadan fundraising. This is your best chance to be our close friend for this great Dawa organization. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your efforts and give the highest reward for your one-time or monthly generous donation.